Hi, hi, friends. It's me again. So let's continue with our previous lesson. Okay, uh, check homework first, right? Okay. Uh, question one. Okay, these are the answers. Question one A. Please take okay position vector of P Q and find P Q as well. Okay, please double check uh, the answer here. Okay, so take your answers already. So let's look at question two. Oh, question two. I taught you already last week, a last lesson. Question two answer is coordinate of B is seven twelve. Okay, co uh, question three. The answers at the back of the book it's uh it's a bit mix up. Okay, it's wrong already. Yeah. So A is one nine. B and C. These are the answers. Okay, it's quite a direct kind of questions here. Huh? All right. So let's look at uh, today's lesson, which is try it twelve. Okay, we're gonna do try it twelve. Okay, so in the diagram, okay, we have a diagram here. Okay, OC is uh, C. Okay, this is a vector of C. The a vector of C here. OD, O to D is D. Okay, this is the vector of uh, D. And C, E, E, D, now we have ratio. Okay, so they are testing your ratio skill now. C, E is 4, dot, dot, E, D is 3. So the ratio of this C, D, right, is 4 to 3. Okay. So it actually means that this CE and uh, this C to D cut into four parts of CE and three parts of D, ED here. Okay? So O to E. Now we want to find OE. OE is actually goes here, right? Okay, O to E. You can go from O to C, O to C, and then C to E to reach E, right? Okay, or you can go from O to D and then D goes to E. Also can. Okay, you both will give you the same answer. Okay. Uh I for my method, uh, I mean for my working here, I'm showing O C plus C E. Okay? You can try the other way around, O D D E also can, but I'm uh, I, I'm choosing O C and C E. Okay, so before we want to find OC plus CE. OC we already have CE, but CE we don't have. We we can actually find CD first because CE is part of the CD. Okay, C to E is part of this C to D thing, right? Okay, so we find C D dulu. Okay, so find CD first. CD is C goes to O plus O goes to D. Okay, C goes to O is anti direction, so it's negative C plus O to D is D. Okay, going this way is negative C. Going this way is D. Okay, anti direction is just at negative. Okay, so we have CD now. CE, leh? how to find CE? We have CD saja. But CE, we can actually find. By, uh, we know that this part CE is 4 out of 7. Okay, C to E is 4 part out of 7. Okay, because it's 4 parts here 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here got 3 parts 1, 2, 3. So there are 7 altogether. 4 plus 3 is 7. So C to E is actually 4 out of 7 of the whole CD. Okay, so 4 out of 7 of the whole CD. So 4 out of 7. Of C to D. Okay? So 4 over 7 times with negative C plus D. Okay, this is your CE. So O to E, go back to O to E. Since we already found our CE, we can find our OE now because this, that's our question. So CE, we uh, OC is C. CE, we already have it from here. Okay, this one, uh, we already have it here, so we just sub in. Okay, and then we simplify this part here. I expand. Okay, so this part, C minus 4 over 7, C is basically 1 minus 4 over 7, and you will get 3 over 7. bring down 
okay so that's all for try it 12 okay right you just need to understand this fraction thing here okay okay so let's go to questions today's question is exercise 8.2 or 8.3 okay which is from your page 81 to 82 okay so we will cover a few questions here and uh, i will pick a few questions for you to do at home which i think is easy one i let you do at home lah. okay uh, question four i think you can do it your own question four you can do your own okay uh, you have a diagram here already so a b you know lah. a b a to b can be o a goes to o o goes to b okay a o plus o b okay you can do it your own a o plus o b i just give you a little hint on yeah but if anti-direction if going the other direction opposite direction you have to add negative don't forget that okay b c b goes to c is c o o b okay c o and plus o b Okay, you do it ah. You have this one. I haven't finished yet ah. You do it by your own ah. C A, uh, you can go C O plus O A, and then you find out the answer in terms of A B C ah. Okay, A B and C or C also can. Okay, so first and second, third part you do your own, and part B. Okay, I'm teaching you part B now. You see A B plus B C plus C A right? You don't need to look at the diagram. You just look at what you got from your first part, second part, and third part. A, B, B, C, C, A is basically first part, second part, third part. You plus all three together and see what happened. Okay, so question four, I leave it for you to do. Okay, question six, I think this one also I can leave it for you to do. It's not hard because M is the midpoint here. I think this question is quite similar with one of the questions in previous exercise. Mm, you know, I know. Okay, you will try to figure out it. Uh, question six. Okay, question seven, I will teach you question seven. Okay, because of the ratio here. Okay, so CDE is a straight line, this one. OC is uh, vector C, OD is vector D. And CDDE is 3 to 1, this 3 to 1. Okay, it means that here 3 parts, here 1 part. Okay, here 1 part equals to the 3 parts of this. Okay, okay. So, part A. CE. Okay, how to find CE? We only have CD here. Okay, okay, this one I erase first. Huh? We find CD dulu. Okay, because we know that this ratio is 3 to 1. Okay, this is I wrote already. You find CD first. Okay, CD uh, is equals to C to O plus O to D. Okay, so C to O is anti-direction, which is negative C. O, D is D. Okay, we have C, D already now. Okay, how to find C, E? Yeah? Okay, C, D, we have it as negative C plus D. And you see this is three parts, right? This is one part only. Okay, so if this one, we divided by three, we will get one of the small part. Okay, one, two, three. So if we get this one, if we divide it by three, okay, if we divide it by three, we will get one of the part. And C to E is actually four parts. One, two, three, four. So you have to times it four again to get the answer. Okay, you divide it by three to get one of the part, and then you times four because there are four parts, right? C to E. We want to find C to E. This is what we do. C to E. Okay, this negative C plus D, okay, divided by 3 times 4, or you can just use 4 over 3 times with this. Okay, it's 4 over 3 of your CD. Okay, I write down. 4 over 3 of CD. So, 4 over 3 of negative C plus D. Okay, so the answer is negative 4 over 3C plus 4 over 3D. You must find CD first before you find CE. Okay? Okay, I explain it uh, one more time. Okay, using another method. You can rewind again to listen to the first method, uh, the method just I teach you just now. Okay, we know that uh, this is 3 to 1. The ratio is 3 to 1. Okay, so C to D, right? And then C to E is actually 3 over 4. Okay, CD is 3. 
C to E is 3 plus 1, which is 4. Okay, so CD is 3, CE is 4. And CD, we already know that is negative C plus D over CE equals to 3 over 4. Okay, this method also can, it works. Okay, you cross multiply to find CE. So CE is 4 times negative C plus D divided by 3. It's actually the same thing as 4 over 3 times negative C plus D. It's the same. Okay, this is the second method. See whichever method that suits you, you can do it. Alright, okay, that's for part A. Now let's look at part B. Part B is O to E. Ah. O to E is O C, C E. Ah. O E is equals to O C plus C E. O C is C, C E we already found it from the part A. Negative 4 over 3C plus 4 over 3D. Okay, so basically we can just open the bracket like that because it's a plus. So we end up having this. And this part here we can uh, use 1 minus 4 over 3. And you will get negative 1 over 3c plus 4 over 3d all right so that's the answer for part uh, c let's look at number eight okay number eight also i will teach you how to do okay question eight so question eight we have position vectors of p q and r okay this is op O, Q, and O, R. Alright, and part A, express P, Q as a column vector and P, R. Okay, so P, Q also the same, P, O plus O, R, A, O, Q. Actually, this one can do by your own. I just want to teach you part B. Okay, uh, you can pause the video and try to do by your own. Huh? Okay, this one, without further explanation. This one is in terms of m, so negative 3 plus m. And the one at the bottom is positive 4. Okay. That's for PQ. And then part B is PR. So PR is PO plus OR. Negative of. 15, 8. Okay. Negative 3 plus 15 is 12. Negative, negative 4 become positive 4 plus 8 is 12. So this is your PR. Okay, part B. Okay. If the points P, Q, and R lie on the same straight line, find the value of M. Okay. If they fall on the same straight line, means that it's also parallel, right? Okay. I, as I teach you last time, um, if parallel, Okay, if parallel that uh, you will have something like this, A, B is equals to K of a C, D. This is parallel. If you want to see whether it's on the same straight line, on the same line, uh, A, B, you will also have K, okay? But it can be A, B, uh, A, B, then it's the same already. A, C, or it can be a B, C. Okay, this is on the same line. We, we see the point. You see this A, A, this B, B. Okay, as long as you see the same point on the left and the right side, then it falls on the same line. Okay, why I say that? Because A, B, A, C, you will show that starting from A goes to B and then B goes to C also. A, B and A, C, for example. Then A, B, B, C is also on the line. It, it must be on the same line. Parallel, as for parallel, you see A, B, C, D, they don't have the same common point here. So you can only say that they are parallel. But if you want to say that they have the same line, they must be parallel and also on the same line means that uh, you must have the same point on left and right side. Okay? So to show that they have the same, uh, they are on the same straight line, Okay, we use PQ 
and PR. Okay, from the question there, you can see P, Q, and PR. So I will write P, Q. Okay, if para means we have K, uh, you will put K and then PR. You see they have the same point there, which is P. Right? Okay. So why I use PQ and PR? Because you already have you already found it in part A and B. Okay. So PQ is negative 3 plus M and then bottom is 4 equals to K. PR is 12, 12. Okay. But if your working is uh K PQ equals to PR also can ah? it's the same thing ah? because in the end we are not finding K we want to find M okay if you use this you also will get the same M okay if I'm using this method so first we want to find K so 4 is equals to uh, 12 times K, K times 12 is 12 K so my K is 4 over 12 which is 1 over 3 okay and then you look at the top one this one equals to this one times 12. Okay, so since I found my k already, I sub in my k, which is my 1 over 3. Okay, so this is what happened. 12 times 1 over 3, which is 4. Okay, so the m that I'll get is 7. Okay, so that's all for question 8. Okay, this is the answer. M is 7. Alright, so I've shown you the working already. If you have any question, you can feel free to WhatsApp me or Teams chat. Okay, chat, uh, send me a message in Teams chat. Okay, so the rest of this is your homework, question 4 and question 6. Okay, alright, that's all from me. Bye, thank you.